हेलो एवरीवन दिस डॉक्टर इरफान कमरुद्दीन अंदानी लेट्स लर्न सम मोर बेसिक्स ऑफ ऑर्थोडॉन्टिक्स टुडे यू नो दैट इन ऑर्थोडॉन्टिक्स वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट मेल अक्लूजन व्हिच मींस एनी अक्लूजन व्हिच इज नॉट नॉर्मल बट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज नॉर्मल अक्लूजन देन ओनली वी विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई एनी काइंड ऑफ मेल अक्लूजन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू लर्न टुडे व्हाट इज नॉर्मल अक्लूजन लेट्स बिगिन Lawrence Andrews has given six points or six keys of normal occlusion. Before going into the detail of these six points, we should also know a little bit history of Lawrence Andrews. This is Lawrence Andrews, who was a practicing orthodontist in United States of America. In 1960s, he evaluated his own patients with their post-treatment models. but he was not very much satisfied with the results especially the aesthetics he was trying to give to them he was confused that why he is not being able to deliver the best aesthetics to his patients then he decided to research on that in 1970s he took impressions of 120 non treated normal cases with ideal aesthetics and ideal occlusion let me repeat those were 120 non treated cases and then he evaluated those models and identified the characteristics of natural occlusion and what did he find out these six points or six keys of normal occlusion according to andrews so we will discuss one by one first key is about inter arch relationship according to lawrence andrews the distal surface of the distobuccal cusp of upper first molar should occlude with mesial surface of the mesiobuccal cusp of lower second molar let me show you what does this mean this is distal surface of distobuccal cusp of upper first permanent molar and this is mesial surface of mesiobuccal cusp of lower second permanent molar both these surfaces should be in contact in an ideal or normal occlusion now you must be thinking that is it something different from angles classification because angles always talk about mesiobuccal cusp and andrews has talked about distobuccal cusp according to edward angle class 1 molar relationship which is normal or ideal in that mesiobuccal cusp of upper first permanent molar lies in buccal groove of lower first permanent molar we will see the reason why andrews has taken distobuccal cusp but before that let me clarify you that both andrews molar relationship and angles class 1 molar relationship are same both indicate the same inter arch relationship but the referencing cusp is different both have taken maxillary first permanent molar as a reference tooth Why both of them have taken molars to understand the occlusion? The reason is that your whole occlusion depends on this molar relationship. Confused? Let me show you. Have you ever seen a cogwheel? These projections in a cogwheel also known as teeth. Isn't that amazing? Just see how perfectly the teeth of a cogwheel fit with each other for proper functioning. In the same way when we talk about molar relationship it's not just the molar it's about the whole occlusion whether it's andrews way to see or its angles way if the first molars are in proper intercuspation rest of the teeth anterior to the molar also fit in perfectly if they are well aligned like upper premolars will fit in the embrasures between the lower premolars and molars and then canine will also be in class 1 relationship now this is again something to understand what is canine relationship remember one thing angles based his classification on just first molar but norman kingsley he introduced first time the canine relationship and according to him when mesial slope of upper canine coincides with the distal slope of lower canine we can say that canine is in proper occlusion or class 1 canine relationship or in other words upper canine is always in between lower canine and lower first premolars 
Now you must be thinking that our topic was Andrew six keys, but I have explained just first key, and I also related with angles and molar classification. The reason is that sometimes you come across few cases in which you feel that molar is in class one relationship according to the angles classification. Like in this picture, you can see that mesio buccal cusp is more or less in buccal groove of lower first molar, but according to Andrew's criteria. Molar intercuspation is a little bit disturbed, and that is the reason why the teeth anterior to the molar are also not fitting properly in occlusion. Therefore, for me, Andrew's first key guides you better in terms of diagnosis. Let's say if you move upper molar distally to fulfill the Andrew's criteria, then the whole occlusion, including the canine relationship, will get much better. That's all for today. In our next video. we will cover other keys till then have a good day